Today on the show, we're going to talk about how the Justice League Dark script has just been handed into Warner Brothers. So Del Toro has been working on a Justice League Dark movie since I think 2011, or that's at least when the rumours started and Del Toro has confirmed it himself. But then obviously the full DC master list of movies came out and Justice League Dark wasn't on there. This was kind of disappointing because Del Toro has brought us fantastic movies like Pacific Rim and Pan's Labyrinth, and Justice League Dark would have just been like this merge of the two of them, and it would have been fantastic and a match made in heaven. So obviously I was very disappointed when it looked like the movie was just canned altogether. However, with the script being handed in, it looks like it could be out in the next few years, which is very, very exciting, but it does leave room for a lot of speculation because another movie was missing from that list. The Sandman, which is another magic-based type of movie. Now it is worth saying that the movie's title has been changed as well from Justice League Dark to Dark Universe. Now initially I did think that this was done to not confuse a general audience, like a lot of people don't know that there's more than one Justice League. However, if they weren't going to call it Justice League Dark, but they still wanted it based in the DC Universe, in my point of view it would have made sense to call it Shadow Pact and not Dark Universe. I mean, Shadow Pact did inspire Justice League Dark to begin with. Now another movie we know is in development at the moment that wasn't on that list is The Sandman. Now could it be that DC is developing a DC Cinematic Universe alongside a DC Vertigo Cinematic Universe? The DC Cinematic Universe will obviously have movies like Justice League, Superman, Batman vs Superman, a whole bunch of movies like that, and the Vertigo Cinematic Universe would probably have more magic based movies like Dark Universe and The Sandman. As an artist, I can understand why they would do this because in comics it's easy to cross over magic with superheroes, but for movies that wouldn't be so easy because it is like two very similar but also opposite genres at the same time. Originally we knew the lineup was going to consist of Zatanna, John Constantine, Black Orchid and Deadman, but we know that the lineup has changed since then, but we don't know who's in it. At first I thought, oh Constantine must be out of it, he's got his own TV show, but then I remembered that The Flash is going to be in the movies as well as the TV shows with two different actors, so John Constantine could still well be in this movie, and I really hope he is because I really like that character. The possibility of a Vertigo universe being in the movies really does excite me because I love the idea of a Books of Magic movie series, like you could get at least five movies out of that and it would be the next big thing about a teenage boy with glasses using magic. I mean, I know that's very specific, but come on, who doesn't like Harry Potter and who wouldn't like Books of Magic in movie form? It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what movies would you like to see from the Vertigo imprint? Please let me know in the comments down below. Also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more news videos. Also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.